Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Uh, it's kind of small, but just some stuff I wanted to share with you guys basically before Christmas. Um, because this will probably be my last video before Christmas. I'm not planning on any more besides this. So, let's get into it. It's a shorter, probably going to be a shorter video than the ones I have been doing, but I still got a drink. It's a London Fog tea latte that I made in my little stitch mug. So, I'm going to put that over here. Uh, even though I have nothing to put it on but a diaper box that I'm using as a table. Um, okay, yeah, let's just get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you can't tell, my nursery is somewhat back to normal now. Uh, things are mostly where they're supposed to be now, so that's great. Uh, it only took them like a month to fix the hole in the wall. Um, you probably, probably can't even tell except for the mobiles back up now and the crib is back against the wall. And it feels like a lot more spacious in here, so... Yeah, we finally fixed the hole in the wall, we painted it and everything. I think it's a different color than it was before, just in that little patch job, but it's fine. The crib covers it, it's painted, so it's finally done after a month. Okay, brand's over. Uh, I got my little Christmas jewelry on, so I'm ready for whatever. This is mostly Christmas stuff, I guess. These are little snowman earrings and a candy cane necklace. And I'm wearing pink because pink is in this year. Alright, so let's get into the haul, starting off with some SpaghettiOs. So I went to a new Dollar Tree, or one that I don't, the one that I don't always go to, um, and I found these. I've been looking for them everywhere because I can't find SpaghettiOs with Franks, um, and they're our favorite, so I got a few of these. You can find the original and the one with meatballs, like, everywhere, but not the Franks, so if you like that. I usually find it at Dollar Tree. Depends on where you go though. And then I picked up this six pack of glitter. Um, I just needed some glitter and Dollar Tree was the most convenient place I could think of to get it. Um, they didn't. I ended up ordering it on Amazon because I didn't have a lot of it here and I just needed the red. So as you can see most of this is like pinkies, pinkish colors and purple. Um, and I just needed the red for a little Christmas craft that I'll show you guys in a bit. So, I only got one of these and then I ended up ordering a little red container of glitter on Amazon, two day shipping, um, and using that. So, I'll show you guys that DIY ornament here in a minute. Um, and then I got these Junior Mints, if you can hear them rattling around while I'm talking. Uh, they're the Peppermint Crunch. I don't think I hauled these yet. They were downstairs. I put some stuff away because I really didn't think I was going to haul a lot of this stuff like before Christmas, so I put it where it's going to go. Um, but I got the Junior Mints out to show you guys that they have the Peppermint Crunch ones. I'm pretty sure I've tried these before. I think I got them and then never finished them <laughs> last time, but I got them for myself, basically. So they got the little red crunchies in the chocolate there. I bet it's just Junior Mints, I guess. That there. Um, and then these I also had underneath the Christmas tree because they're little gift card holders and I almost forgot about them until I saw them right before filming this. So I just grabbed a couple. They had different like other kinds. Um, this one says Merry and Bright very pretty cover so this is what the inside looks like it's just a gift card holder I mean you could take this little insert out and it's a small box but that's what it's made for and this one just says Merry Christmas I so I didn't quite get it for like the cover as much as this one um, but I got it because it said enjoy is Noel so it says Merry Christmas in French so I got it <laughs> for that like very reason so it's the same thing gift card holder um, and we're giving gift cards to a couple probably a few different people for Christmas this year so I figured I'd grab a couple of those the only thing is it's a dollar twenty five per thing so I wish stuff like this came in a two pack because it's just a box for a gift card but okay. I thought that was broken it is not 
All right, let's get into, well, it's just this bag. There's nothing to get into. It's just this, um, but I'm really excited about it. So it's a reusable bag. I call these, called it, I always call it an Aldi bag because I usually use them for Aldi, but it's just a reusable bag. And this is the only one I found. It was like on a random shelf, last one they had. So I don't know if they had any more. I hope I still can find more, but I feel like Christmas stuff is on its way out already. I went to Target today and there was Valentine's Day stuff out. So, um, but look at the side of this bag and then the front just says Happy Holidays, which is not like my favorite design, but I really like the wagon and the plaid Christmas tree. Um, could have gone without the words or with different words, but really nice. I love these bags. I think the last time I hauled a bag like this from Dollar Tree, like this size, was for 4th of July. And I use it like every time I go to, to Aldi now. Okay. All right, um, this is another bag, totally different. It's a gift bag. So I hauled a dragon one of these a few months ago, um, but this one has dinosaurs on it. I love how much dinosaur stuff, like Christmas stuff, Dollar Tree is doing this year. Um, I've already like basically wrapped up everything I have to wrap up. There's like a couple more things, but nothing that will be this big to go in here. Like it shows a bike going in here. What? <laughs> I've never gotten anyone a bike or anything that big in my life, but I do love this pattern so much. I want like a wrapping paper and tissue paper and a whole collection in this pattern. Um, but even if I didn't use it this year, I'll probably use it in a, in another year. Great. There's that. Okay. Well, let's get into the DIY stuff and crafts because I got this glitter here. So this is the green pack that I got but the green is missing because I used it. Um, so it's the same thing as the red, which I just dropped, but it's blue and green. But I did use the green from this pack and I got two of them because there were two different colored greens. The darker one is the one I wanted, but there was also like a more Grinch lighter green. So I used both of them and kind of combined them to make it work. Um, so yeah, this is what I was using the glitter for is just an ornament you probably aren't gonna be able to see this at all it's very hard to tell I put some fake snow in here that I hauled from Dollar Tree I need to get some more of that so hopefully they have it um okay let me try and show you so there's the footprint you can tell we tried the paint first and it didn't stick to this like plastic and this is a metallic just acrylic paint um it's my baby's footprint if you can't tell because it is really hard to see, especially with the light glare. Um, so we decided to do Mod Podge glue handprint and put glitter over it. So this is the red. And I just got a little like $5 thing from Amazon of the whatever cherry red or something it's called. So this one I might keep for myself. It's like almost too perfect of a handprint on the red side. I like pressed his hand down into it while he was constrained um is that the right word and then this one the green you can see I kind of combine the two colors which the, the light green is not my favorite for this I prefer the dark but it doesn't even look like a handprint on his left hand so this one we we kind of had him grab it and then tried to take his hand away and it just smeared all over the place but it's cute and it'll be it'll make cute grandparent gifts and then we put his name and then first Christmas in the year on there so I got a bunch of these ornaments that I hauled a few months ago so this is what they ended up looking like I was thinking about putting a picture in the center of them or I've seen where people put like their hospital hat and stuff in here and say baby's first Christmas but there's lots of stuff you can do with these, obviously. This is just what I did for his first Christmas. And then I got, well, I've hauled these before, but this is what I did with this wooden board. And it's double-sided, so this was the second attempt, and I think I like this one better. Um, so um, I'll probably, it's not done, I just put his feet print on it. I'll probably write, like, mistletoes 
and then the year and name and stuff on here as well. Um, so again, it's the same green metallic paint, so it shows up really pretty on the wood. And I mixed it with glitter paint. Um, yeah, turned out really cute. There's lots of stuff you can do with feet prints, obviously. And all of them are on Pinterest. Um, and then I got this wooden Christmas tree, and this was my idea for it. So, again, I don't think it looks very done. It looks cute because it's just a bunch of feet prints. Um, yeah, this was my idea, and this is as far as I've gotten so far. So, I don't know what else I should do with it. If I should leave it, or if I should, uh, you know, paint little ornaments in between the toes. I think that'd be cute to just give it a more finished look, and I can display it and obviously write the year and stuff as well so those are the DIYs if you're interested at all if not we're getting back into the Dollar Tree haul so sorry for having that in the middle if you didn't care about it but there it is okay what to grab first uh first thing I grabbed was this lime juice the Pampa lime juice brand so this is actually to go with a little um Christmas gift I got just like a little mixed drink set so I got some lime juice to go with that I love getting my lime juice from Dollar Tree so figured it would work for that um, and then I found this scent so this is all from that like not new Dollar Tree but the one I don't go to all the time um, I found a bunch of stuff that I was looking for and didn't even know I was looking for so this is a very like manly woodsy scent um they're car air fresheners if you can't like see it on there um it goes in the little what's it called air it's a air it's a car air freshener um burl wood is the scent it's a two pack and they just look gorgeous they have like a faux wood design to them and uh, you can give this to like your dad or husband or brother or whatever it's a more manly scent i don't think my husband likes this kind of scent Honestly, my mom probably would like it more than him, um, or I wouldn't mind it for my car, but we drive my car a lot together, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm keeping it or giving it away, but it smells really good, I think, so, and it would be a really nice stocking stuffer for a guy in your life if they like woodsy, like musky scents. Okay, this is what I went to this Dollar Tree specifically to look for. Um, I've hauled this one before, but I was looking for the other ones because, of course, when I went back to my store, they were all gone, totally wiped out um, when I went to look for more. So this one I put in my stocking. The other one, uh, I haven't tried this one yet. It's the milk chocolate. Uh, I might actually try it for you now. I tried the dark chocolate already. Can I open Oh, I have my Perry scissors. Perfect. So these... I love how I didn't even tell you what they are. They're the Copper's Chocolate Espresso Beans. So this one in goldish yellow is dark chocolate. And then the one I already hauled is milk chocolate. And I already tried the dark chocolate. So this one is milk chocolate. They're very crunchy. Oh, I like the milk chocolate. It makes it sweeter because the middle is literally just espresso beans and they're kind of more burnt than normal so if you've tried starbucks is the other per the other the only other place that i know of that sells chocolate covered espresso beans that i've tried and they're really good but they're more expensive like at least twice as much as a dollar 25 they're probably at least three dollars i really like the milk chocolate oh no i need to go back and get more now I'm going to have one more. So I opened the dark chocolate before. Um, and I got two because I am going to give one to my mom. I think she likes them, maybe. And then, okay, I got three. One for my mom, two for myself because I got two of the milk chocolate for myself. So I should have gotten more of the milk chocolate because they're really good. But definitely comparable to the Starbucks chocolate espresso beans, especially... If you like those, you will also like these. Um, these ones are very strong, though, so you have to really like coffee and dark chocolate to enjoy these. But 
the milk chocolate like sweetness makes these so good and addictive like these ones i couldn't finish in one sitting but oh my gosh i need to get more of the milk chocolate ones i'm so excited i have some in my stocking that i put in there already those are good okay so they're the coppers brand they're just on an end cap with all the christmas little treats and stuff so if you can find it and you like espresso beans then i don't think it's a very niche thing but anyways good deal um so i found these beeswax reusable wraps and i was so like i thought it was so cool i've never tried these before also the packaging is adorable so it's for saving food great for wrapping bowls and containers sandwiches and snacks fresh foods and leftovers so it shows like an avocado on there so you can like put it over half eaten fruit and vegetables um so it's like instead of cling wrap or plastic wrap you can use this and it's reusable you just use the heat of your hand to like mold it around whatever you're storing so in the freezer for up to one month or reusable for up to one year and it doesn't say anything about washing them it just says washable and reusable so okay not dishwasher safe so just hand wash only how cool and then I don't know how many sheets you get okay so you get three wraps in here and they're all different sizes so small medium large and there's little bees and flowers on them okay I think I'm gonna open it up because I think I'm keeping this for myself it's not a gift I'll open it up and show you all right and of course they are stuck together because it's beeswax I don't know why these were at Dollar Tree Prepara is the brand. This is going to be a 40 minute video. I felt like it was a small haul, but now we're already 20 minutes in. Okay, so small, small, medium, and large. They're so cute and they feel so nice. Maybe I'll have to get more for a gift for someone. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys just store gifts in your house or do you go out and pick a gift up when you need something? You know, do you like store stuff like this? Like, that's pretty a universal gift at your house. Let me know. Um, I had to get these socks. Again, I'm getting the larger, I'm starting to get the larger baby socks. I have enough of like the newborn Dollar Tree socks and everything. Um, so these are actually two to four T. I mean, they're socks I could put them in them right now if I wanted to they might be a little big but they got the little grippies which are actually really nice even now when he's just like starting to stand up like not on his own but you know um so these are new there's a little rocket ship and the helicopter I love the black and teal color on there so had to get more socks and then I saw these before and I never picked them up, but I finally got at least one of the pom-pom makers. Um, I got the two packs of the smaller ones, not the, there's a single that is larger. It comes in a single pack, but I got the two pack of the smaller ones. Um, just cause Crafty Girl was talking about making a pom-pom tree for Christmas and I probably won't do that, but also I could. And I thought that was a really cute idea. I'd have to get like different colored yarn or string or whatever um but maybe someday I can make some pom-poms and now I have a pom-pom maker to use so yep pick those up um got some coffee for myself these are also great I've hauled these for Christmas gifts as well before um but this is just for myself it's the Jim Beam and they had original, but I got the bourbon vanilla. I feel like this is like a single serve um, for ground coffee, like a single serve use. Um, at the little gift exchange in the last video I did, we ended up getting a pour over coffee maker. Um, as well as we already have our Keurig and espresso machine. So I have K-cups, but I don't have like coffee grounds. So I got these to try. 
get at because the pour over uses coffee grounds. So that's why that, but like I said, it's also great. I've got it in the past for Christmas gifts. All right. Um, I got myself some more, more candy. I don't know if it's as good as this. Honestly, they might be tied. I'm going to have another one of the milk chocolate. Um, so this is the Godiva caramel chocolate. They have these all year round, but I already have one in my stocking and I picked up another one. It's the milk chocolate with caramel in the middle, like real caramel. Yeah, I think these are my favorite. They also have the Ghirardelli ones, but those are good. Um, and then I got another one of these Crafters Square markers in gold. I know I've hauled these before because, well, I have one. I don't know if I've know if I've hauled it exactly um I also have it in rose gold and m maybe silver um but it's the metallic marker so I used this a lot for the hexagon birthday party a couple months ago which I still have never done a video of so it's coming probably not anytime soon um but I got this for the DIYs so I might use this on the wooden signs and it's actually what I used on the ornaments was this kind of marker. So I don't know if it's going to stay that well. Um, I might have to seal it some way so it's not exactly permanent. Like you can wipe it off if you wet your finger. Like so. Anyways, that's what I got it for. It's not perfect but it worked I guess. But it is a really good marker for other stuff. Just not that like permanent kind of thing all right uh this is probably the most exciting thing in this haul to me um it's a very specific thing it's the dapple baby brand so it's a name brand baby pump cleaning product so breast pump and accessory cleaner specifically so not for bottles but if you pump i got two of them because of course if you buy if you find name brand stuff, you have to buy two of them. Um, this is a popular brand of baby soap, which I don't use. Probably should. I don't know. I just use my dish soap for washing bottles. Um, yes, even the Miss Myers peppermint still works. Um, but this is dye-free and fragrance-free, which is ideal. And um, cleaning power of oxy oxygenated vinegar cleans and deodorizes, dries quickly. So it smells like straight alcohol. Um, I used it once already and it removes like the residue very well. So I think it's just like maybe you just rinse and then use this to maybe not sanitize it but at least clean it. I don't really know exactly what this is used for if it's like a one step cleanser. Um, this is like very specific like if you're pumping you'll use this otherwise I don't know what else you would use this for but where does it have instructions okay it just says spray on surface until thoroughly wet then wipe clean no rinsing required so that's I feel like a big deal because it's like a sterile object so that's why I think this is mostly just alcohol <laughs> ingredients are probably purified water hydrogen peroxide Something glycolytic acid, phosphoric acid, diesel something stuff, acid. I don't know, but still really cool that that was at Dollar Tree. If you're looking for that kind of thing, there's so much room behind me, and I'm not used to it. <laughs> uh, I was so used to the crib being like right there. Anyways, I got another one of these wooden boards because it worked really well for Christmas. And even though I'm probably done maybe with uh, Christmas crafts, I can't say Christmas, I'm, it's a tongue twister, Christmas crafts. Um, I might use this for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or 4th of July. Like the possibilities are endless. Oh, you could do little handprints. And make them into fireworks. I just thought of that without Pinterest. So you're welcome. Um, yeah, now I want to put his handprints on everything, especially feet prints, because those are actually easier to do 
and they actually look like feet prints whereas the hand prints sometimes just look like a blob or like nothing because he'll just close his hand up and won't open it so just whatever I can get it'll be cute um, so that's what this is for more DIYs and if you're interested I might be able to share those with you in the future possibly you know okay I got these a few weeks ago now because I haven't done a haul in a while but I got these essential what are they tags basket labels storage essentials basket labels um, it's a three pack so the packaging is kind of weird because it's all bent because it's so like wide um, but yeah it goes on like the fabric baskets that Dollar Tree has it goes on that it will just clips on on the back there and I only got one pack I don't know what I'm gonna do with them exactly yet I have uh, not in here but in my closet I have a few of the fabric storage bins so maybe in there I don't really feel like I need labels in there but I guess I got them to show you guys I thought I had more in the nursery here but now I'm realizing I do not I have the plastic ones and I don't know if they'll work for that but if you use the fabric baskets these are really nice labels and they look new I've never seen them before um, does it come with so it comes with the three label holders and 12 blank labels so you can see on the back so you can switch out the labels so that is also cool if I am using them I'll probably get another one though to have like an even amount get at least six okay this was by the checkout aisles um it's a scratch activity so six little sheets oh this is the back but you can see all of them so there's a maze it's like just dinosaurs and like a little dot game um yeah just some different pictures and tic-tac-toe so some games some puzzles so I'm just coloring it it lists right on the front there what all is included but scratch offs are really fun for well it says three plus so if you have younger kids um although I would probably enjoy this I don't know um but it's just dinosaur themed which I thought was also really cool they had different ones but of course I had to get the dinosaur one so there's that um these I think are new maybe I don't think I've ever hauled them before they're wall art stickers in the Christmas section um I don't know why I've never hauled them before it just wasn't something I was interested interested in and now I'm like oh I can use those I think I've heard them being hauled for like junk journaling before but never thought of putting them actually on my wall uh, I really like this set I think I have some stickers which I want to find more of those stickers because they're really fun like um, the Christmas labels the you know present tags whatever they're called so like same images as some of those um, like the camper and the gnome and the barn and there's a little wheel wheelbarrow and the little mug this is happy holidays and the tree and a squirrel so yeah a lot of them are repeats from gift stickers but these go on your wall and it's a how many are in here it just says one sheet of graphics I have to count <laughs> 15 it couldn't say that on here so it looks like there's 15 designs that you get in there and they're a decent size as you can tell so I'm excited I should put some of those up for this year all right a few more things and then I got a couple things from Target today and that's gonna be it so we're doing pretty good um, so this is some hairspray that I just got actually for sealing the glitter because I knew I was gonna be using the glitter so I needed to get hairspray to go over it and I don't know if it works yet or not I hope it doesn't like leave a tacky finish I tested them on one of them so if it doesn't leave a tacky finish or like weird film or anything and works I'll spray all the ornaments so the glitter doesn't fall off and then hopefully it works on that 
not permanent marker as well. So I got the super hold hoping that it um it was the last one by the spa luxury brand. So I hope it will hold the glitter on my ornaments very well. Thank you guys if you're still here. Um give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas because it's just a few days away here. It's already the 21st when I'm filming this. Um, so last couple of things here is the, what's the brand? Beauty Intuition Shine On High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Think Pink. So there's a little duotone pink lip color there. So this is High Shine Lip Gloss. Look how cute the packaging is. I think they had other stuff in this packaging, like different kinds of lip glosses. And then I found the Spa Scriptions um, Hydrating Gel Cream. I, I only found one of them. This was at my Dollar Tree, just on the shelf. I didn't see any more, or I would have picked up duplicates, just like for backups for myself if I like it. You know, I'll have a backup, but. It's for dewy, soft, and glowing skin. Nourish, replenish, soften. So it sounds like something I would love. Uh, strawberry seed oil, lotus flower, and vitamin B5 hydrating gel cream. I've gotten the Spa Scriptions brand before. I have a serum that I think I'm using from them. I actually put it in my stocking. I would put this in my stocking as well if it wasn't totally full. Um, which I know I said I wasn't planning on filming a video before Christmas. But let me know if you want to see what's in my stocking and like my husband's stocking um let me know in a comment down below if you'd like to see that because it would be kind of fun to share what's in our stocking but other than that um this is it for christmas so i've seen a few people haul this and this is what the packaging looks like <coughs> i'll try and open it up i need to get my scissors out again don't want to ruin my nails even though they're already chipped and I just touched them up today. I don't really li like love the color. It's a kind of dark. I wanted like a brighter red but I like the formula of this nail polish so it's the color I had. It dries quickly. Okay this is what the packaging looks like. It's so gorgeous. It's like a pastel holographic rainbow. You can see it. and then it's got a pump with a lid so it's just a moisturizer but I'm really excited to try this and you get 1.7 fluid ounces I hope I can find another one but probably not I kind of want to try it out now that I took it out already okay we'll try it and then we'll get into the target things and then that'll be it <laughs> okay takes a minute to get the pump started Okay, so it's a very light gel concealer. You can kind of smell the strawberryness to it. Probably shouldn't test it out on my skin, but what the heck. I don't have like really sensitive skin, but it is really dry, so need some of that. Uh, it feels really nice. If they had another one, I would have gotten like three of these if I could. I'm excited. Also the pump packaging is just really convenient because I hate having to like take the lid off and I'm usually holding a baby and like get the stuff out and he's grabbing it. So the pump is so nice actually. Alright. So excited for that. Spa descriptions. Alright. So I went to Target today. Um, it might be exciting. It might not be. It's just only two things uh, I thought I'd share. Um, my hair is in my mouth. This is an ornament. It's a little picture ornament. Um, Target does not have a lot left at this point. It's like five days till Christmas. Four? Uh, yeah. It's like Wednesday night, but it's technically Thursday because it's after midnight. So four days till Christmas. Um, they didn't have a lot left, but I did find this little sleigh. I thought it was cute, and it's got the year on it. Um, just a last minute gift for a grandparent so I am obviously 
gifting these. It's got grandparent gift written all over it, right? Um, I'm gifting these to all the grandparents and keeping one for us as well. Um, well, this is just a last minute grandparent gift. I just got pictures in of Jack's that I printed. So I'll put a picture of him in here. Um, and I got a baby's first Christmas ornament for myself, which I've already hauled for you guys here. But this I'll give to one of his grandmothers. So cute. So I'm glad they had some ornaments left because it was just, like I said, last minute. And it's just a $5 ornament, so it was a great deal. Nice wood. Um, and it was in a bag with, like, cold brew. I got another one of the Stoke Peppermint Cold Brews because it was good. By the way, if you saw my last haul, I think I hauled it. The Peppermint Cold Brew was good. So I did get another one before they were all gone. Because, you know, after Christmas they're going to be... Just all the peppermint is gone, and I love it, so I had to get another one. Um, and I got more of those cough drops, too, because we went through those caramel Ricola cough drops. So that was my little Target haul, as well as a bunch of baby food. So, ornament and chapstick. Now, this is just EOS chapstick. This is probably not even new. Like, the scents are probably not even new. The combination... But it's new to me. It's totally new. So I'm sharing it with you guys because this is going in my stocking. I don't know if the whole thing is or just individual ones. But I'm about to try them all for you right here because they are all for myself. It's my gift to me. Um, you can split them up and like give them to other people. But I don't think anyone I'm gifting to really loves chapstick as much as I do. So I don't I don't know. I could just be guessing. Or they like like plain chapstick, not this kind. Anyway, so I know EOS is probably like a totally old thing. It was like popular when I was in high school, like the little ball things. Um, but the tubes are nice too. So this is my favorite in Sweet Mint. I'll try it on and then I will try on the lip gloss from Dollar Tree for you. I just knew I had these so I didn't want to try it on yet. Okay, I did have a little lip shimmer on. I don't want to get this super gross. Okay, so that one is Sweet Mint. Okay. Sweet Mint in the light green. Um, and this is... Sorry, I can't get it back in. I'm going to have to take them all out. So this pack is called Chill Vibes. And it says, our most zen flavors. And I, like, love it. The only thing that would make it better is if it had lavender in it. So it's got the sweet mint, the, oh, it's multicolored, the eucalyptus mint. There, it's purple and green. The chamomile, this light purple, and then the vanilla bean. So they don't, I don't think they have all of these, like, in individual things. Like, I've never seen chamomile in any of their collections or yeah, this is very minty <laughs> um, but I love it sweet mint's my favorite and I haven't had it for a while um, so I've never seen chamomile the only thing that would make it better like I said is if they had lavender in here like the purple and like it would just go just saying they could have done cam chamomile lavender or instead of another mint do a lavender I just love lavender I tried the chamomile one on earlier and it will totally like the mint masks everything I feel like but I'm going to put this in my stocking and I'm going to put one like in every room of my house because I always need chapstick okay this is eucalyptus and it smells like vapor rub in like a really good way <laughs> I love like the medicated like Blizz text chapstick and this is what it reminds me of so that's wonderful especially for winter feels really hydrating and then the vanilla I'm I am putting on all four chapsticks just for you and for myself but it's all mint so I can basically barely smell anything but this is the vanilla bean so if you don't like the fruity flavors of EOS but you like their formula um I didn't know this pack existed until I was browsing Target online and saw it and ordered it and I already love it 
So it's the Chill Vibes pack by EOS. So exciting. Um, I said I was going to put on lips, lip gloss for you guys. Gotta find it. And then we're at 40 minutes. So that will wrap up this video after I try this on. So it's going to be a short haul and it probably could have been if I didn't talk about everything for a million years. Um, so this is one of those layered lip glosses, so it'll probably be dark pink when it comes out. It looks very hot pink. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to smell anything with all the chapstick I just put on, but you can see color coming out. Wow. I'm wearing like a bright pink shirt too, like I said. I love pink, but I never wear it, so I've been trying to get more pink, so I just thrifted this shirt. And it kind of matches. It's very pink. Uh, okay, it feels nice. It feels like an oil. Not super sticky. So, I like it. That's the Beauty Intuitions. Everything is falling. Beauty Intuitions. Cute little packaging there. Again, it would go in my stocking if it wasn't full. Obviously, I'm keeping it because I just put it on. Um, and the only thing is, like, I don't know when you'll get to the light pink it will change color like those rainbow lip glosses you know um thank you guys so much for watching uh we are at the end of the haul totally i just realized i just realized after 40 minutes that there is a baby towel we are in my nursery so that there's a baby towel behind my head <laughs> but if you guys made it to the end thank you so much for watching or if you didn't make it to the end, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And I hope you have a great Christmas if I don't post about our um, stockings before then. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.